I learned what translational medicine was when I came here. I had a vague idea of what translational medicine was and I guess that people like me when they are still in clinical academia, many people think they know what it is, but uh, I realized that I didn't know what translational medicine was, <laughs> really. Translational medicine here at Novartis is the linchpin between basic research and full development. So the translational medicine expert role is to work with the basic research colleagues, identifying molecules, identifying targets, and then when molecules have been developed and go through the early safety program, those that are promising then move into the clinic. I always wanted to do something that was ultimately meaningful for the patients, and I realized that advancing the knowledge in the lab, although very valuable, was not going to translate into a direct benefit for the patient. So I started looking at where can I have the most impact, but still be very close to the science, which is what took me to medical school in the first place. So the team at Novartis are really quite impressive. People of different expertise work together with a common goal. You know, there's really no true leader on the team. And to be able to walk into a team meeting and know there are 11 other people there who are experts in what they do, who know infinitely more than I do about what they do and I can learn from them, makes coming to work really amazing every day. One of the other things we do is we collaborate a lot. We collaborate with people within the company, of course, but we also collaborate with academics who are all around the world in many different institutions. And we learn from them, they learn from us, and we work together, especially to think about what the diseases are like, how we can treat the diseases, and ultimately what, what our drugs are gonna be and how we use those to treat the patients that need them. One of the areas of science that I've always been interested in that's really booming right now is aging. And there's increasing data that aging actually might be regulated. It's not just random wear and tear. And so I got to Novartis and I said to my boss, you know, I think, how about if we work on aging? You know, a lot of people in the field had talked about, wouldn't it be great if someone actually did this trial, but no one had the resources to do it. And we were given resources to do one of the first clinical trials ever to see if you can impact the rate of aging in humans. And Novartis supported me and we did it. The most exciting, I think, is always when you try to see results from your clinical trials, and then you see, oh, that may work. <laughs> and then you, uh, you try to analyze, is it really true what you're seeing? And then you see, oh, this is actually, there is a potential for, uh, for the patient to help these patients. And that makes it very satisfying, um, the work we are doing here. And I really feel that I can combine what I have learned in the past in clinical practice, in research, and now at Novartis to bring together all those things and to work in a team to develop drugs. So I enjoy it.